trying to insert his name into the top 15. And Shorty, that is Stetson Lawrence. Stetson Lawrence, this is a guy that I'm, I'm just excited to see him start getting things rolling. He's, he's, he's had some spurts in his career where he's, where he's been that guy and then he'd get hurt. And it, it's just kind of plagued him. But this is a guy, I think he's got all the ability in the world. I think he's a, a guy that could be a top contender for a world title. Uh, he just got to get through a season without the, the injuries that he's had in the past seasons. And if he can do that, I think he's a guy you're going to have to look at for uh, for a world champ. Well, Max, Shorty mentions the injuries, which are very true. A lot like Ryan Dirty or Stetson Lawrence has had some big ones to contend with. But to go back to last week and the answer that he gave Kate in one of his interviews after going three for four, remember, she asked him, how are you able just to sort of reset? And he said, that's exactly what you just do. You forget about last week. And I think that is a skill that not many bull riders are able to perfect. Yeah, and it's one you have to have. And, you know, just like you go back to Luciano, you know, he's not going to make the championship round, but he's leaving here making a good ride. Take that with you. The same way with Stetson, you know. There were some bad moments last year, some bulls that he was supposed to ride that got away from him. You fix the mistake and you move on from it. You know, it is important that you fix it. You can't just move on without knowing what went wrong, but I feel like Stetson's a guy that has been able to do that. Hey, you mentioned last night when he was on Stars and Stripes that the bull was able to bait him and get him out of position. Explain that again. Well, a lot of times a bull will give you a big look and not just a look, but even his shoulders will come with him. So, you know, you've got your head down and your line of sight, it's driving right down in between their shoulder blades, but you can't take the bait with your free arm. Lawrence gets it done. It looked as though kick out the lights was just gonna set the hook and go one direction, but towards the end, did try to throw that direction change in, but it was too little, too late. Yeah, that looked really good from Stetson right here. And when you see a guy making good rides away from his hand, that tends to be the direction guys have trouble with. And Stetson just knocks him out right here. This is really, really good. And then he's just hoping he comes back to the left. You could see him loosening up with the outside leg. He was ready for that. It's a qualified ride, 83 and three quarters, but back to the theme you mentioned about Luciano. 